all right people what is going on back with another video i hope you guys enjoyed your weekend i did my wife had her birthday and we celebrated her birthday that was awesome and um that was just you know that was just a blast and i really appreciate all the birthday wishes y'all gave her on twitter that is great appreciate that um also if you guys haven't already check out the last vf cast i did of you know amber simone is awesome it was a great interview i highly recommend you go check that out also go check out her music i highly recommend it i'm not joking when i say this it was a really good really good uh conversation also the first and frame rate show that was went well as well uh, also go check that out that's on my other channel all right let's get into this you know about this uh steam deck right it's uh you know basically it's a handheld looks similar to the switch supposed to be able to play pc games on the go triple a titles all that stuff well they had a pre-order or they had like a, a reservation type of deal where you put like five dollars down and you can reserve the right to buy the you know the steam deck when it, re it released it's supposed to release sometime next year or whatever the case may be well people were taking that reservation and throwing that on ebay and you know, these uh, handhelds start at 455 50 and 650 or something like that. Depends on what model you get. Well, they will put it on eBay for almost three times the amount. In some cases, um, people were trying to sell it for $5,000 for these um, handhelds. And it wasn't even for the handheld. It was just for the right to, to have first dibs on the purchase. It wasn't no guarantee that they were going to get it. Well, shout out to eBay. Appreciate eBay. eBay has always treated me right when I went to buy retro games or, or all, any other type of things I bought. Shout out to eBay. They put uh, they put the hammer down on all of that. No, you cannot go run around and try to get um, uh, money off of these reservations. So anybody who's trying to put those up, they're gone. I checked it last night when I heard about this. And there was a whole bunch of them. And I expect if I go on eBay right now, it shouldn't be any or whatever the case may be. It may be a couple try to slip through, but they'll probably get knocked down as well. Serves them right. Sick of all these damn scalpers. Every time you turn around, scalper this, scalper that. Scalp the NES Classic. Scalp, scalp the Super Nintendo Classic. You know, uh, try to scalp the, the, the Mario uh, 35th Anniversary. They try to scalp everything. And it's not just Nintendo related. They be trying to scalp all type of stuff. PlayStation 5, Xbox, all this stuff. It's about time eBay did something right. And I hope other companies that, that have this type of selling or, or auction format do the same thing. You know, I'm just sick of all of this. You know, let people get a chance to, to actually purchase these things the right way with the right MSRP and let it be. You know what I'm saying? You know, it, it just gets to a point where it's ridiculous. Now, I'm not necessarily a proponent of reselling things. Now, say for instance, if you have something and it's rare, you sell it for a couple of hundred dollars more. I'm not, I'm not a pro, I don't have a problem with that. Because that's, you know, that's just basic, you know, economics, supply and demand one-on-one. -on -one. But when you scalp stuff, in other words, you probably have people who are just probably buying, and I don't know how the mechanism is to, to get the res reservation, but you probably have people that was buying to get these uh, reservations so they can get the item, and they thought they was going to get it right away once they were released, and try to sell them for thousands of dollars. That That's not supply and demand. That's just... That, that's just some BS. That's just some scummy practice. Now, in this country, is it illegal? I, don't, I mean, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's not. You know, I never tested the laws on that. Is it um, immoral? Yeah, I think it is because it's one thing to be a capitalist. It's another thing just to be a scumbag. And in, in most of these cases, that is what it is. They're scumbags. And with that being said, I'm glad eBay, you know, stopped all of that. And uh, I wonder if any other sites that do auctions or whatever, or do like selling that uh, of this type of format, I wonder if they're going to do the same thing. Because this type of stuff do not need to be going on. Now, if you have the product in hand and you decide to raise the price a little bit, say if you, had the, I think the price uh, for the, the the best one or the one the most features is like six fifty. If you have one on hand. Or if you have two on hand and you want to sell it and they're rare, you can't find one, and you want to sell it for $850, all right, I get it. 
I'm okay with that. Like I said, a couple hundred dollars more. I get it. But if you have uh, two of them and you're trying to sell them for like ridiculous amount of price that's super duper high, then I got a problem with that. It's just ridiculous. Um, let me know what you guys think. Do you think that eBay did the right thing? Do you think that eBay should have let them live and let them try to get them thousands? Or do you think that it shouldn't even have taken place in the first place for these scalpers even try to scalp? Are you anti-scalper? Because um, for the most part, I am. I can't stand them. I really can't. Because they're the reason why the PS5 is kind of in the state that it's in. The Xbox is in the state that it's in. And at one point, like these other things like the NES Classic, you know, it, those were in the state where they were in because you had guys who had tens, 20, you know, 30 of these things and they're trying to sell them to you for like triple, sometimes quadruple the price. It was just ridiculous. All right, guys, you guys let me know what you think. I'm about to get out of here. I'm about to go in the house, see my wife, see my son, and hang out with them. You guys be easy. See you on the next one. Peace.